and welcome to another VRTK tutorial video. In this video we're going to show how we can use a linear drive to create an interactable drawer. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron. There are plenty of membership levels to sign up at and it really helps to fund these videos. So in our scene we've got a basic draw game object set up. It's simply just a case with some primitives making the outer casing and then the draw model is just the internal draw with primitives as well. And the first thing we're going to do is turn our internal draw into a linear controllable drive. So we can do that by going to Window, Data Tilia, Interactions, Controllable Creator. And then we can choose whether we want this to be joint controlled or whether we just want it to be transform controlled. I'm just going to choose transform controlled for now. So select Linear Transform Drive and click Convert. And we can see that's converted our draw model into the linear transform drive prefab. We can close the controllable creator down now. And now all I need to do is set up the options on the linear drive facade to get this to work. We can see by default the axis that the draw would move would be left to right, which isn't what we want. We actually want it to move across the forward and backwards. So we're going to change the drive axis to Z. And we can see now we are moving across the correct axis for the draw. And then the next thing we need to do is set the limit. We can do this quite easily by if we click start at initial target value and set that all the way to zero and then align to initial target value. We can see our draw has come all the way out. That's probably fine there. But if we went all the way to one and align to initial target value, we can see our draw has gone all the way through our case, which isn't what we want. So what we first want to do is reduce the actual limit that our drive can move down. So I'm going to put 0.4 in here as I know this works for this setup, but you can mess around with the value that suits your needs. And now again, if I align to the target value, we can see that the drawer is actually still sticking out too far at the back. All we need to do for that is just move the drawer forward. So its initial center position is a little bit further out. So all I need to do is change the position of the drawer. So about minus 0.2 will be fine here. And there we can see our draw now at its initial target value of one being fully closed because one is the furthest forward it can be. Looks fine. And then if we move that all the way to zero and align to initial target value, we can see our draw is coming all the way out, but not completely coming past our case. So we're going to start our draw in the closed position. So we'll put it to one. That's how our draw will look. And that's it. We've set up our draw now. We don't need to do anything else. If we were to start the scene and grab that draw and pull it and shut it, it would naturally open and close. So let's run this scene and see that working. So we're now in the scene and we can see our draw in front of us. If I just reach out and grab the draw, we can see I can pull it and it gets to its extent and then it can't move anymore. And if I push it, it will shut itself and we can fling it shut. And we can see that velocity is still being carried when I release. Then we can push it all the way shut if we like. And there we go, we've created a very, very simple draw mechanic using the linear transform drive. I hope this video has been useful to you. If it has, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Leave any likes, dislikes, comments down below. Consider becoming a VRTK patron and I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.